Yo, 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 hello, travelers! Welcome back! Today I have for you a first generation Wi Fi battle against my good friend Manu. So, yeah, I haven't battled Manu in like a year or something, and uh, before this battle starts, I uh, changed a bit my OU team because. I've been using the same team for like forever, so yeah, and I also wanted to try out some other stuff, so... So, yeah, let's get straight into the battle, and uh, it's great to come back to the Origin, the first ever Pokemon games, let's go! So, uh, Manu is gonna start with his Alakazam, gonna start with my Executor, and straight off the bat, I'm just gonna try to go for the Sleep Powder and put something to sleep, and uh, I was thinking of going... For the stun spore, predicting him to go for a sleep father, but I just wanted to put something to sleep, to be honest. So he's gonna go into Snorlax, he's gonna be put into sleep. I'm gonna go into uh, for the psychic, and I got a crit into the Zapdos, which is pretty nice. And then I'm gonna switch into my Golem, which is the perfect counter to Zapdos, which is amazing. Zapdos can do anything to Golem, so I'm gonna predict the switch. I'm gonna go for the body slam fishing for a para, but unfortunately, he does have this Gengar, which is immune to it. So I'm gonna go into my Executor, predicting the Hypnosis, and he does go for that, and uh, my Executor fell asleep, which is okay, because I wanted to put that thing asleep, so. I'm gonna go into Snorlax, but this Gengar surprised me with the Confuser Ray, I definitely wasn't expecting that at all. I went for the Blizzard, and unfortunately I'm gonna hit myself in the Confusion, and in comes the Rhydon, and I'm gonna hit myself in the Confusion again, again, oh my god, so... Now I'm gonna try to hit this thing at last, but unfortunately I'm gonna miss, and now I'm forced to go for the rest because I don't wanna lose my Snorlax this early in the game, and unfortunately for him, I'm gonna not hit myself in the confusion and get a good rest. So, now I'm gonna switch into my Executor, and he made a good play, went for the Substitute, and I don't even know why I went for the Executor. So, I'm gonna hope to wake up as soon as possible, he's gonna go for the Body Slam. I know I'm safe here, because I resist the Earthquake, and I still don't wake up, I still don't wake up, and in the long run, I'm gonna have a brain fart. I was like, okay, I slept for enough turns, now, when I switch back in, I'm definitely gonna wake up and hit, but nope, first gen mechanics. First gen mechanics, that doesn't work like that, I don't even know, that was horrible my part, I don't even know I made that mistake. So I now I have to switch into my Snorlax, I don't even know why I switched to Snorlax, so I kinda wasted two Pokemon at the same time. And that what happens when you don't play uh, regularly, and uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna lose my Snorlax there, so... I decide to keep Executor as a death father there uh, for later, and I'm gonna switch into Snorlax, go for the Earthquake, break the, break the Substitute, and he's gonna go for the super effective Earthquake stab, and that's gonna do a lot of damage. And I was hoping that this Earthquake will take down the Rhydon, no way, no way, and Rhydon has amazing defense, and this incoming Earthquake will take out the Golem. So, gonna switch into Gengar. And uh, I decided just to play safely, just go for the Mega Drain, because I didn't want to overpredict at this point. And in comes the Alakazam, and uh, I decided just to go into my own Alakazam, but he went for the Thunder Wave, and now my Alakazam is paralyzed, which is horrible. So I decided just to go for the Thunder Wave as well, because uh, if things get bad, I have a Charizard there, and that's like my hope to sweep at this point, so... In comes Rhydon predicting very nicely my Thunder Wave, and uh, I'm gonna switch to my Death Father now, my uh, Executor, and that's gonna end up taking it out. And uh, I have to reveal my Charizard right now because I have no choice, and the Earthquake is gonna end up taking down the Rhydon, so yeah. Anyways, now uh, Manu is gonna think about it and he's gonna decide to send in his uh, Gengar. I don't want my Charizard to fall asleep, so I'm gonna switch into my already paralyzed uh, Alakazam. And uh, I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave myself. He goes for the Confuse Ray, and unfortunately, I'm gonna hit myself again. Oh my god. And again, after the he hits me with a Nightshade, he went for another Nightshade. I'm forced to go for the Recover, and thankfully, didn't hit myself in the Confusion. And Alakazam was safe there, so anyways, he's gonna go for another Nightshade, and I finally got to paralyze this uh, Gengar, so... I'm in a bad amount of health, so I definitely need to recover, and 
thankfully he didn't get fully paralyzed. He used the Nightshade, we both get fully paralyzed, which is mighty unfortunate. And now I'm gonna go for the Psychic, hit him very hard, and he's gonna get fully paralyzed. So now I was thinking about it, I was like, should I finish him off or should I recover? I decide to recover. And uh, now I'm gonna predict another Nightshade, I'm gonna send in my Gengar, and he went, he got fully paralyzed, which is great, so... I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt, and uh, Manu is gonna decide to switch and save his Gengar for later, and he's gonna send in his Alakazam, which is gonna do a lot of damage because it was a crit, I was thinking another Thunderbolt should be able to take it down. He's gonna go for the Thunder Wave, and that did absolutely nothing. Alakazam has amazing defense, uh, special, because in this generation, special and special attack means uh, what am I saying? Special is both special attack and special defense, so Alakazam is a beast in the special defense. Anyways, in comes his Zapdos, I definitely need this thing paralyzed because of my Charizard and thankfully I managed to paralyze it. Uh, this Psychic won't be able to finish it off unfortunately and now I have to rely on Charizard. The only thing that I need to win is not having this Char Charizard paralyzed, so I'm gonna be able to finish off the Zapdos with the Belly Slam, which is great, and in comes Tauros, the boss, the best Pokemon in this meta. And I don't want this Charizard Paralysis, but he got the Paralysis with that Body Slam, and Fire Blast is gonna get a crit. And unfortunately, I he's gonna miss, and the Body Slam, for some random reason, failed to take down the Tauros, and now you have to eat this Hyper Beam. Oh my god, that Charizard managed to take it. Now it's like Charizard against everything. Oh my god, can Charizard do it? So the thing that I need to win is to set up some source dances and unfortunately I got fully paralyzed. I got fully paralyzed again and I was like, okay, Fire Blast might be a 4 hit KO. But judging by that damage, it is a 3 hit KO. So come on Charizard and come on Sorlax, keep sleeping. Second Fire Blast hit. He woke up. And the third Fire Blast connects, and that's the KO. So, his last Pokemon is Gengar, he outspeeds, but he got fully paralyzed, and I managed to kill him. And uh, I still had my Gengar uh, sitting there, and the Charizard saved me in this battle, which is great. So, great battle, Manu, it was very close, and uh, you played like a boss as always. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah. Uh, it was great, like I said, coming back to the first generation, the origin, and yeah, leave your awesome feedback as always, and I'll be seeing you guys next time, have a nice day, and peace out!